Well, the city leaders from the beginning have been asking for clarity from leaders in the federal government. And the Air Force left no ambiguity, right? Uh, when they said the proposed project presents a significant threat to national security with both near and long-term risks of significant impacts to our operation in the area. That's a quote. Now, I personally believe that we should be strategically severing our ties with China. It's been my position for a long time. And, and, and inserting them further into our critical supply chains and particular close proximity to our national defense assets is exactly the opposite of that. So we, we have a clear choice between stronger ties with China or a stronger, stronger national defense. As I've said before, we should choose the latter. Well, let me just say, I know, I know Senator Hoven, uh, Congressman Armstrong, the governor, of course, the Commerce Department in North Dakota, we all have the same conviction, and that is um, Grand Forks is a good team to play with and to play on. We, we want to help them bring uh, a more suitable tenant to the uh, to the Grand Forks area, certainly somebody in, in the value-added agriculture, just as the, um, you know, the, the crushing facility that's coming there now is. Uh, we, we could maybe expand existing North Dakota, existing American companies, or, or recruit um, and import companies from, from friendly countries, the allies, not adversaries. And I, I just think we stand ready to, to help Grand Forks and, and look forward to, to what should be a very optimistic future for that region, both for our Air Force Base as well as for commerce in the Grand Forks region.